Okay, this is the math review for physics, and in this lesson I want to talk about solving equations. It's something that you do a lot in physics. So what I mean is, suppose you're given some equation. Now, you don't need to know where the equation comes from right now. It is a physics equation. It's something that you'll see when you take physics. But for now, I just want to concentrate on solving the equation. Now, when I mean solve it, I mean suppose we want to solve it for i. In other words, I want to get i equals and then everything else on the other side of the equation. Okay, so if I have r equals v over i, the first thing I might want to do would be to multiply both sides of the equation by i. So r equals v over i, and I'll multiply this side times i, and the reason I want to do that is to get the i out of the denominator. Then they'll cancel. And then I'll multiply this side times i, because whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so now these i's cancel, and I'm left with i r equals v, and I'm almost there. I just got to get i by itself, and in order to get i by itself, I better divide both sides by r. So divide by r, divide by r. Again, the r's cancel, I'm trying to cancel stuff out so I can get i by itself, and I get i equals v divided by r. Okay, let's try another one. So that one was pretty simple. How about something like this? So this is v final, that's what that little f means, equals v initial, that's what that little i means, plus a times t. And I want to solve this for t. Well, the first thing I need to do is to get that a t term by itself. So I'm going to get rid of this v i. Now, to get rid of it, since it's added to at, I'm going to subtract it from both sides. You want to do what's called the inverse operation. So v final minus v initial equals, and then I have v initial plus at minus v initial, so I'm subtracting it from both sides, and v initial minus v initial, that goes away, so I'm just left with at on this side. So I have v final minus v initial equals a t. Great. Now I just got to get the t by itself. To get the t by itself, I want to divide out the a, since the a is multiplying the t. So I divide both sides by a, divide by a, divide by a. The a's cancel. And I get t equals v final minus v initial divided by a. Okay, let's try one more. So, how about this equation? This says f equals g times m1 times m2 divided by r squared, and I want to solve this for m1. Okay, so the first thing I can do is get rid of this r squared. I can multiply both sides by r squared, since the r squared is divided here. So r squared times f equals g m1 m2 divided by r squared and then times r squared. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can cancel out the r squared. So now I have r squared f equals g m1 m2. Now I could get rid of the g by dividing both sides by g and then get rid of the m2 by dividing both sides by m2, but why not get rid of both of them at once? I can just divide them both out. So divide by g m2, divide by g m2, and now the g's cancel, the m2's cancel, and I'm left with m1 equals r squared f divided by g times m2.